inte med. Det har vi. Hej, Jukus! <laughs> This is Mitch's 2007 Toyota Hilux 4x4 with the 1GR FE engine under the bonnet. This is a 4 litre V6 which is where it got the nickname of the Race Lux. It's got a 2 inch lift and is running 32 inch hand cooked Dynapro MT tyres that have uh, a sufficient, yeah, a, su a sufficient amount of tread. Let's go with that. Basically she's not afraid of the limiter and is an absolute weapon when driven by a madman. up in the high country and around Jamison area um, and it should be good. We arrived yesterday and we're, we didn't do too much yesterday. We went to um, went to a jumping rock that we know of up the river a bit. We've just packed up camp and we're heading off. Apparently we're going to head towards a waterfall which should be good. But yeah, a bit of a different one because I'm driving and I'm going to have to figure out how to film everything um, because it's a lot harder when you need to drive, so we'll see how we go. So this video is going to be a bit different, but it should be good. Just got these little little rock step things here. It's really hard to film with this camera because I sprained my thumb yesterday on this hand. So I can't hold it with my left hand, which is what I normally do. But yeah, it's my go now. Nothing too bad. Not too bad. I wish someone could actually film me do stuff. Because then, you know, it'd make a lot more sense in this video. Just having a swell time driving around the high country in the race lives. It's always good because it makes nice noises. It goes nice and quick when you want to go. It goes alright. It gets a nice ball. The race does. Man, there's all these spots along here that look like they would have really good views. But it's just cloudy and you can't see anything. There's no point in even showing you. But we're going to keep going. Um, we don't have too much driving to do today. It was around about two hours. I think we're about an hour in. This is what I mean by how it looks like that would be a really nice view, but it's just foggy. Very, very frustrating. So, put your right wheel, like, up on the bank, like, up there. Oh, Alright, let's see. So, like, drive up this bit. That sounds sexy. We are all. We are. G'day YouTube, you're here with Mitch and the man Darvis himself. Yes. Rolling in, in the mighty Chop 105. Hank, apparently. Hank, Hank the tank. Hank the tank. We've uh, just come up to the top of the son of a bitch track, I believe it is. We've had a bit of a rough ride. We haven't got too much footage. No, nah, but we've gone alright so far. Yeah, we've got we've got a few bits and pieces. I think there's absolutely nothing of this car because we're leading this expedition like the, the brave was, uh, explorers that we are. Con but convoy one. That's it. But trying out the new car. First time driving with Diff as well. It's been relatively successful. Oh, that's been exciting top. Yeah, still getting used to it. But yeah, there's a good bit of footage of Sam and uh, Adam driving up things, so enjoy that. Or uh, just look at us and we'll just yeah. watch it, yeah. yeah. Either way, it's a good time. Yeah, we should, we'll check in soon, I reckon. So 
what happened then was Mitch got out and um, jumped in jumped in this car a little section because it was a bit how you going as you saw you had to hit it pretty hard and considering this isn't my car anyway I didn't really want to do it just in case so we just made a slight detour actually track where I rolled that highlights that you just saw manging up that hill two years ago yeah Christmas time two years ago so I don't know if I'm gonna drive it in the new rig or not I'd like to a little bit if you're gonna send it anyway uh, no nah, we'll see I'll make an assessment when we're there but I would like to show it who's boss we trouble when you walked in hey hey you fucking watch me solar panel boy eh? Smack a bitch. Even a good line up there right inside. Yeah, that's it's really fucked. What do you reckon, Mitch? It looks better than last time. It's because you're upside down last time. It's mm, fucking KO'd by a roast pork flying out of me. <laughs> Too diff locked. <laughs> I'm all the way to Taylor Park, please. Andrew at Tima, Chop Daddy, Instagram. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> when he was there, the his front wheel just lifted up and went all the way over. <laughs> This is our camp, we're just packing up, it's the next day. And then just over here, we've got the river with a very nice jumping rock, but we're not gonna jump off that one because it's a little bit sketchy. So we are thinking that this one oh, over here is a much better plan. Just straight down. It's not very, not too high. Just a nice jump. It's gonna be deep enough. Looking at where Taylor is right now standing up, it's so cold. Is it really that cold? Where do you want to go? Probably there. Yeah. Probably there? Yeah. That's the same depth as the rest of it anyway, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Deep, oh, yeah. What do you reckon? I don't like it. Don't... These things just... I like them, but I don't like them. <laughs> oh, I want to go. Okay. You want to go? You want me You're to go? You want to go together, Jay? <laughs> Hold it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Oh, Adam. <laughs> Hold it. Yeah. Hold it. Yeah. I don't like that idea. Alright, well we'll go. Oh no, just go by myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey? One, two, three. Oh! 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 Oh!
That is fucking fresh. <laughs> Send it. I can't just take a breath in, it's that cold. It's pretty deep. Hey. On your Mitchell. Mountain go. Mountain go. Fuck it, Jim. Yeah. Join the environment. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ready, Sam? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Put the coconut all the way. Time to go. <laughs> Back her up. I must, because I'm filming. <sighs> I'm on a race locks, it's just you and me. Time to send up hills. That noise is just addicting when you're going down the hills. It's just that. The whole way. Oh no. So, uh, bit of shit fuel issues. Yeah. Pressure. It would seem like we got no fuel pressure. So, we're just saying now if it's. Just the filters clogged or what's going on? All right, when you ready? Yep. Now stop. Fucking zero fuel pressure. So we might have enough gas to get it to the top and then call RACV. Or we might, I don't know, find something good to fucking pull over and Call our ACV or someone to come get us, I suppose. Because mm. there's yeah, no pressure on the tank side of the of the fuel filter. Um, not really a mechanic, but it seems like a bad time, I suppose. No fuel, no go. Yeah, we got a bit of gas and we can get it started. It's rough as gas, but we can get it going and running on gas. But that won't get us too far, I don't think. Just saying, both big boy cruisers are broken in some way. But the race locks is still going strong. Best car ever built. built. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? You've been a bit sick this trip, haven't you? Average. Very average. It's taking lots of pills all the time. <laughs> Every morning I gotta take like five pills. Yeah, that's not what you want. To keep me alive. Some kind of breathing tank issue. Because it's going in and it's dropping in. 
so it, like it would take a bit of fuel. So what happened was we were stopped because Sam needed to fix something on his car real quick and then Mitch's car was idling on petrol because it's dual fuel. It was idling on petrol and then it started to sputter and it turned off. So we're like, oh, it's out of fuel. Then we went to put fuel in it. It went in for a little bit and then the fuel started just coming out and we were like, well, what's going on here? Check the fuel pump and whatever, which is what you saw. But we've kind of think that maybe it doesn't have any fuel, but there's something wrong with the fuel going into the tank because we can hear it slowly dripping. There you go. Mitch said it just started fine then, so we reckon that it is just getting the fuel into the fuel tank because for some reason it's just not feeding. So we're going to try and find an off camber area or something like that so that where the fuel is, where you put the fuel in, it's sitting up on an angle and hopefully a bit more gravity might be able to push it through a bit faster. It's a little bit weird, but at least it's something we can fix. We don't think we're going to have to call RACB, hopefully. Is it fixed, do you reckon? Maybe. We'll tell you I ran out of fuel. Mm. My fuel gauge doesn't work. Yeah. And then there was an airlock somewhere in the tank that wouldn't let us put more fuel in. So I might have just had an empty belly. So we'll dump a jerry can in it, put it on petrol and see what it does, I suppose. But that's like best case scenario. Yeah, absolutely, there. it's best mm. case scenario. Hey, uh, Adam, can we get a bit of... Whoa. A bit of... Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. A bit of G-bread. A bit of garlic Un bread. Unwrap that. Snaggy. A bit of... A bit of... Oh! oh. Is that a hot sausage oh. roll? Oh, your car's broken. She maybe have a fuel problem. Oh, she's I'm giving you a hot garlic this. bread. Oh. oh, how's your lunch, Sam? <laughs> bit, better, bit better than that door. Yeah, still, you're not wrong, but it's designed like that. Still cooks right. fucking lunch better than your twisties. That's actually like cooked very well. Oh yeah, yeah. Can't complain, can you? No, no. Oh, okay. So let's say I made a bit of a dickhead out of myself. I would just like, I would just say Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. Just Nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> That. We might as well tell them what happened. Yeah, so, so I'm sure they'll say it anyway. But the uterus is running out of fuel. My fuel gauge has decided. When, when, when I bought the car, it moved a little bit, and then to be honest, I just drive on gas all the time because I'm a bit stingy. And now on petrol, she uh, doesn't work at all. So. You think it's all good, Mitchell? Sure, our big dog just catching up. So, pretty much what's happened here is I've stitched myself up, ran out of fuel like a big dickhead, and then, lesson learned, because it's a chopped land cruiser. The fuel is too low. Yeah, because apparently on wagons they're up higher, and lucky we had at Sam uh, Chopped 80 but to help us out yeah. with some of his chopped land cruiser wisdom. His knowledge. And, uh, yeah. It was, it was stressful, but when we actually used our brains, we got it done in the end, I suppose. And now we're, we're butch, butchering country again. We're hoofing. I suppose you could say. Yep. So, yeah. Oh well. The ever reliable land cruiser. <laughs> So currently we've just stopped, we're up on top of the Howitt Plains. Last time we were here was actually on the Dargo trip on Australia Day. Um, we were up here at sunset after a long, long day of driving and listening to the last top five of Triple J Hottest 100. So that was pretty special. But currently we're just kind of figuring out what to do next because this was the extent of our plan pretty much. Can't stay here because we've got a dog, so we've got to go somewhere or it's not National Park. For the record, he hasn't come out of the car since he's been in National Park, so chill out. But yeah, it's bringing back some some very nice memories. I liked that trip. I really liked the Dargo trip. But yeah, I guess we'll update you when we actually know what we're doing, because we're just making it up as we go from now on. I'm trying to find a spot with a river, because it's getting warmish. It wasn't very warm this morning, though. That river, river was freezing.